Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today here? Well, what we've got for you, some people will look at it and recognise it. We've got a Osmeroid fountain pen set or a Osmeroid calligraphy set. Now, some of you people from sort of school days will look at it and say, Ah, Osmeroid, I remember that. I think everybody um, in the school days had an Osmeroid fountain pen. Now, this one, as you can see, comes in this plastic case. It comes with a cartridge and two spare nibs. First of all, if we turn it over, it tells us to the back there it's an Osmeroid. And then it says Osmeroid International um 1989 gosport england so gosport england was where osmeroid was founded now i think they were founded don't quote me i believe about around about 1918 uh by a mr perry i think it may have been edmund perry now originally the perry company they were making nibs for dip pens and such so you know you'll see a lot of their nibs around sort of the sort of the brass um, brass nibs uh, gold plated nibs for dip pens and then I believe later on they began making um, fountain pens um, this one in particular if you look at if you see in a moment it says since 1930 so I think they started making pens maybe around about 1930s now the Osmeroid pens they made lots of different models um, I believe the first one was the, the Osmeroid 65 and then there was the Osmeroid 75 later on um, if I've actually made any reviews on Osmeroids, I can't remember. If so, I'll leave you a link up to the top at the end of the video. But what we're doing is just simply, let's just concentrate on this pen here. Now, if we take the top out like so, underneath what you'll find, you've got a little converter. And this is a little piston converter if you decide to use it instead of the the cartridge now this one whether this particular cartridge is dried out i'm not particularly sure but if we show you now the instructions instruction leaflet it says osmeroid calligraphy and that's where if you look there handmade since 1830 sorry 1830 that's even even earlier I, I was quoting 1930s and also interesting it says 22 karat gold plated nibs now if we open this very briefly this is very much designed for calligraphy and people people that want to uh, begin learning there you go italic hand gothic hand shadow italic hand and so on so forth let's pop that to one side so these pens were very much designed for people who were looking to well write calligraphy and they are specifically designed for that purpose but let's have a look at the pen just a simple plastic black pen like so um the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel barrel it's around about 134 millimeters capped around the barrel a nice 12 millimeters in diameter it has these sort of uh, quite a broad and then two thin cap bands to the bottom of the cap and again if we, if we show you the the clip to the top there you can see quite a normal just plain clip and then to the bottom there you've got the word osmeroid so again an osmeroid pen and again i'm sure a lot of you people will now be saying ah yes i had one of them when i was at school i'm sure there was a lot of people actually using these pens now if we show you the section the section is quite long as you can see there and if we unscrew it you can see the section unscrews um let's just show you the feed underneath there you can see the feed underneath you can see the the nib and this particular nib is an osmeroid b2 england nib let's bring it a little bit closer for you so you can see it 
So you can see the the tip there is quite broad. So what you do, you'd use this one if you wish. If not, um, well, what I'll do, I'll just simply screw this one back into place. If not, then you could actually pick any of the other two nibs that are available. Um, if we show you this one here, keep it nice and still. I believe this one's an Osmeroid Italic Medium Nib. There we go. Again, let's show you the feed underneath. So, you could use this particular nib if you wanted to write in italic. And then if we take this other one here and show you this one. You can see this one's slightly broader. And this is an Osmeroid B4 nib. Again, made in England. Why it has this gold spot at the end there, or to the top of the section... I am not quite sure. So if any of you people know, why not share it with us and tell us why it has this gold spot to the top of the section. And last but not least, as I've mentioned, you've got the, uh, the cartridge inside there. So, nice and simply, we've got this Osmeroid calligraphy set. Um, I believe, because I've actually seen them before, that these sets, they come with... Not just as in this case two nibs, sometimes you can actually buy a set which has considerably, well, a lot more nibs available. So the lovely thing about these pens is that, again, if you want a different style of writing, you would just simply unscrew the, the section, replace it with another one to your particular style of callig calligraphy writing, and away you go, writing away. Um, I'm not a big writer, especially not a calligraphy writer, but I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that actually enjoy and practice calligraphy. As I said, they made them, you know, different models. Um, this specific one, I'm not particularly sure of the model, but as I say, if there's any other calligraphy, uh, sorry, Osmeroid pens that I've actually reviewed, I'll leave you a link at the end. Now, this particular set I don't believe actually has been used, so I don't specifically want to, well, ink it up or put a cartridge in, but actually what I will do, though, for you people, because I know you people like to see pens sort of writing, what we'll actually do, we'll just, we'll dip test it. I can clean it afterwards, so... Let's just dip test the, the pen itself. So I'm dipping it in ink. Let's just give it a little bit of a shake. So let's see, let's see how it writes. So what we have is a well, there we go. You can actually see already. Look at that, looks lovely. So this particular set as you've seen there, uh, is from 1989. Um, I believe when you write with these, you may have to actually put the nib at a different, a slightly different angle. Let's just dip it again. Like I say, I'm not a callig calligraphic, I can't even say the word. Uh, calligraphy writer so let's do it a little small angle so this is my feeble attempt at writing slightly different but well you can actually see already the um, the difference Actually, it's quite fun to write with, actually. So on the downward stroke, there you go, nice and simply. We're getting a lovely, a lovely broad line on the cross stroke. So, again, specifically what the pen is actually designed, designed to do. And it's actually writing quite smooth. Obviously, we've run out of ink there, so that doesn't matter. So we'll leave it at that, but... There's a writing sample 
lovely variation and I'm sure it's actually anybody that's just actually into writing or writes a lot would have a lot of fun with these pens you can see here there's a lovely variation a lovely broad line that sort of goes down to a very fine line and a lovely lovely variation so somebody who writes with a lovely hand this would be a lovely pen so let's pop that to one side let's pop the cap back on so there we have it I'm going to leave it at that that's just one of the calligraphy um, pen sets this is the well again I'm not I'm not particularly sure of the specific model but it comes with a pen and two nibs lovely fun to write with as you've just seen lovely variation so an osmeroid calligraphy pen set I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you don't forget leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe subscribe why not but for now I'll just say a bye bye for now